Good morning, everybody. It's Coach Driven Fitness Erica here, your friendly and fabulous Orange County personal trainer. How are you this morning? Maybe I'll try. No, this is the best place. Even though the light isn't good, this is really the best place. There we go. To, nope, that's not going to work. Uh, to place my phone for our weekly live session. So sorry I missed last week. I was on my way that day to, I'm still going to try to move around. I was on my way that day to the Santa Fe Yoga and Fitness Retreat I was hosting, which was amazing. Um, we had eight women who attended and they loved it and everyone's already talking about next year. So that's great. So hopefully we'll have another fantastic retreat. Well, not hopefully. We will have another fantastic retreat coming your way. That's better. Um, next year. So stay tuned for, uh, where we're going to have it. We'll let you know in the next couple of months. It just asked me to tag a friend and now I can't, um, get out of that. There we go. Okay. So, uh, today for our Facebook live, we're going to be talking about falls and fall prevention. Um, mostly because I got this awesome little article from one of my clients yesterday, thank you Sam, um, out of the register. And it's called, and it's titled, Avoiding Falls is Key to Staying Healthy. And we're gonna talk about why that's important. I'm sipping on my coffee. It's nice and cool this morning here, I love it. I always feel like I need to start with a weather report <laughs> from Orange County. It's beautiful and cool this morning. Feeling more like fall for us, which is amazing. Um, okay, so falls, they're a big deal. Um, obviously when you're young, they're a big deal. You don't want to fall, but even more importantly, when you get older, you do not want to fall. And either you are currently young and will eventually be a senior, or you are a senior who exercises with me now or is watching now, or perhaps you have parents who are seniors who this is also very important information for. So whether, regardless of where you are in your life, this is important information to kind of file away and uh, save for later. So according to this article, um, the, it started with a question from a reader, which was that this reader had two friends in their late 70s who recently fell outside, one on a floor at a theater and the other tripped on a cement barrier in a parking lot. And the reader said that one su suffered a concussion and the other a broken wrist. So this person wanted to know, what are the tips to stay safe while outside? So the columnist, Helen Dennis, is going through some tips for staying safe, particularly outside. Um, so Helen says that being 65 years or older is a risk factor for falls and that one in four Americans in this age bracket fall each year. And every 11 seconds on average, emergency rooms treat, hey Brandy, yay, you're here. Every 11 seconds on average, emergency rooms treat an older adult for a fall. So older adults, particularly over 65, are falling very frequently. And every 19 minutes, they say, an older adult dies from a fall. So that's why I say that this is important information for everyone, no matter what stage of life you are, whether you are young, whether you are a senior, or whether you have an, a parent or other relative is, is a senior. Falls are really the leading cause of fatal injury um, in hospital admissions among older adults. And as a result of a fall, more than 2.8 million injuries are treated in emergency room departments annually. And they cost $50 billion a year. And the big issue with falls in older adults, so like when you're young and you fall, it's like no big deal. You might break a bone, you know, um, you might hurt yourself, but in general, you can come out of it and you heal and you're fine. But the problem is when you are adult, an older adult, over 65 or a senior, one of the most serious injuries from falling later in life is a broken hip. And when you break a hip, that is a very, very um, complicated injury. And older adults break their hips because in general, we start to lose bone density as we get older. And many older adults these days are not doing weight training, which will help preserve your bone density. So then they fall, 
crack a bone, particularly in their hip, and it's a big deal. Um, recovery is difficult, and a lot of times once an older adult breaks a hip, they have so many issues afterwards because the recovery is difficult or the surgery is difficult that they can't live independently after that. And in addition, once they fall once, your chances of falling again as an older adult are like way higher. So we want to prevent those falls in the first place and you want to start early. So if you're not yet a senior, hopefully you're either doing the things I'm going to talk about in a moment um, already or you will start so that um, when you become a senior, your chances of falling and dealing with this injury are really low. Um, and then the author goes on to talk about the outdoors and why they pose risks. Obviously, there's a lot of other sensory things going on, so they're not always paying attention. There's unevenness in the ground. There's um, obstacles. So anytime a senior or anyone is outside, really, um, your chances of falling are probably a lot greater than when you're inside. So uh, the author talks about things that will help you um, prevent falls, and then I'm gonna talk about what I do to prevent falls. So the author says, when stepping on stairs, use a handrail. I don't care how old you are, like I use my handrail at home because I cannot tell you the, many, the number of times where I've been like rushing down the stairs at my house and one foot gets caught in the pants leg of my other foot. Has that ever happened to you? Like, especially if you have loose pants on. And if I hadn't been holding onto that handrail or coordinated and strong enough to catch myself, I, it would have been a bad tumble down the stairs. So number one, common sense, right? Use a handrail. That's why they're there. Number two, try to stay on level ground outside and watch for holes and uneven areas. I think that's a silly, <laughs> I don't, I think that's a silly uh, comment. Try to stay on level ground. You can't stay on level ground if you're outside. Like you're going where you're gonna be going. The ground and the obstacles are going to be there. So in my opinion, it's better to prep yourself for the inevitable, which is uneven ground and obstacles versus trying to stay on uneven, on staying on level ground. She said, uh, walk on the grass if sidewalks are slippery. Make sure you have your correct eyewear, like sunglasses or corrective lenses if you're older so that you can make sure you can see where you're going. Check the height of curbs before stepping down. Wear shoes that aren't slippery. Um, watch for scooters and skateboards. And the last two, which I think are good, number one, the author says, being functionally fit can help prevent falls. What does that mean? Functionally fit basically means that you train for things that happen in an everyday life. So when you go into the gym, you practice bending down to pick up a weight and putting it overhead. Just like in real life, you might bend down to pick something up and put it overhead to put into a cabinet. That's functional fitness. And the author says that's very important because it relates to our strength, flexibility, endurance, and balance, which are all important things for fall prevention. And then the last thing she says is consider enrolling in a fitness class that's offered at a hospital or senior center as part of adult education. Uh, there's a very specific program, I think it's called the Fall Prevention Program, that trainers can be certified in. I'm not certified in it, but at many senior centers and hospitals, there are trainers who are specifically trained in fall, the Fall Prevention Program. And there is a really specific set of parameters and training cycles that they use to help specifically older adults not fall. So if you are an older adult or if you have a parent who is an older adult, that's a good program to look into getting them enrolled into because it will teach them the basics of um, not falling in everyday life. So what do we do in Driven Fitness and what do I think you should do if you are not currently a senior um, or maybe you are but you're already working out? At Driven, we work on really three things that help with fall prevention, posture, strength, and balance. So number one, posture. As adults get older, they start to do this, right? They start to hunch over many times. And the problem with that, with that is that your eyesight goes from the horizon down to the ground. And they say that when you lose your ability to see the horizon, we use that horizon as a um, measuring point for balance and how to move throughout life. Somebody else joined, I just don't know how. Oh, hi, Christine. Um, I tagged you, not on purpose. I didn't know what I was doing because I don't know, always know how to use my technology. <laughs> but I'm glad you could come. 
Um, so the problem with older adults is as your eye level, because you're starting to stoop, starts to look downward, you lose your frame of reference from the horizon. That gives you an idea of what's high, what's low, how big things are, and gives you a sense of balance with the rest of your vestibular system. So number one, we train posture. So we train being upright, looking ahead, and then also strength training so that you don't start to get that hunched over um, posture that naturally happens to many people as they get older because they're not working to balance it out with a lot of back work and things that keep their core and posture strong. So number one, we work on posture. Number two, the thing we work on is just general strength, right? Many times people fall because they don't have the strength to catch themselves. If you catch your foot and trip and your leg where it, that you stand on is not strong enough to catch you, your butt isn't strong enough, your thigh isn't strong enough, and you haven't practiced that movement of stepping forward, then you're not gonna be able to hold yourself up. So general strength training through the upper body for posture and through the lower body for legs is really important to prevent your falls. Or if you start to fall, it can keep you from falling, okay? So core is really important for strength training because that's your foundation and your powerhouse. And again, that can create stability lower leg strength and upper body strength. So we work on posture, we work on strength. The last thing we work on is balance. So creating one legged movements in your exercise program. And I tell people if they have bad balance, just start by like standing on one leg at home. When you're brushing your teeth, stand on one leg. Super easy. It creates a, a um, distraction in your body because you're concentrating on brushing your teeth, but you have to also balance on one leg at a time. Um, and it's just a really simple, easy way to build balance work if you're a beginner. Um, moving on through that, we do like single leg squats, lunges, um, things on one knee, all kinds of work that works on balancing and improving balance on one foot, which is important for fall prevention. The second thing we do is stick you on uneven surfaces to work on balance. I have a client who um, we started almost a year ago and she hated the BOSU, which is that half dome, right? It's flat on one side and it's like a dome, a squishy dome on the other and you can stand on it. And she was so uncomfortable on that piece of equipment. She felt like she was gonna fall. She didn't have good um, balance. She might get a little dizzy. So what do we do? The last year I've been making her get on that BOSU, we started by holding her hands, then she started not holding hands, and then she started squats, and now she does squats with the ball. And let me tell you something. She was in Europe three weeks ago on a vacation, and she was going across a stream, and she stepped on, it was a man-made stream, like uh, at a like tourist attraction, and she stepped on a uh, rock that moved. And when she stepped on it, it was like this. And she says, had I not been practicing that balance work on that stupid BOSU for the last year, I would have fallen. And it was rocky all around her. And she's like, it would have been so ugly. I don't even know what would have happened. I would have hit my head. So there is just a very clear uh, reason that you do stuff like that in the gym. So that when you're out in everyday life, hopefully it will save you from falling in a trip to a hospital in Italy, right? So, um, Practicing your balance is, hi Ryan, practicing your balance is really important in various ways. Not only on one foot at a time, but on unstable services. And if you have a parent who is a senior, try to get them into a program or training with a professional that can help them. Or if you are a senior yourself, or maybe not even a senior, you should be incorporating these things into your everyday life and your fitness routine now to help prevent falls later on. So postural work, strength work, and balance. Does anybody have any questions about fall prevention? Super exciting topic, I know. But like I said, it's a big problem. As I said at the beginning from this little article, what did she say? Uh, one in four Americans over 65 will fall, and there's over 2.8 million injuries a year treated from falls, $50 billion it costs. So no matter what space you're in in your life, whether you're an athlete, whether you are a senior, whether you have a um, parent who is a senior, 
adding fall prevention exercises is super important and will help with your health and fitness in the long run. All right, that's it for right now. Okay, next week I will be back. I'm not sure with what topic. And I did have a challenge, I think, two weeks ago, and I forget what it was. Was anybody watching two weeks ago that and knows remembers what the challenge was that I gave you? We did the exercises that you hated, and then I don't remember what the last one was. No? Okay. All right, next week I'm probably going to be over at the General Driven Fitness page. I'll do a quick little announcement in our OC Health and Friends, um, Fitness Friends page, if I am, I'm gonna be bouncing back and forth each week between this group and the German Fitness page. But stay tuned next Wednesday at 7.30 and I will come back with more uh, health and fitness information, okay? All right, have a great one, bye.